This is Arch Linux breakage story one breakage, as in Arch Linux itself didn't break the software on Arch Linux broke. So first I'm going to test what broke because I think it's been fixed. Let me show you what broke and I've already made a video on this and this is shortcut. So it's working now for some reason. It was crashing before. I think it should crash. Yeah, it did crash still. So this crash is due to Flatpak basically not working properly. So if I go ahead and if I say Flatpak remove and I then say shortcut, I'm going to remove this. And now I'm going to write uh, Flatpak. um remove and flatpack sorry flatpack uh uninstall unused and these are all of the all of the things that were being used by the flatpack now the reason why this flatpack is crashing is because one of these dependencies that is being downloaded doesn't download properly they time out so that's the reason why it's not really working and I can, I believe I can show this to you, but I think that the, uh, I, I'm not sure whether I should be, but I should basically cancel the installation as it is installing because then it would probably make my system even more unstable. The second break it story I'd like to show is this. So if I do sudo pacman syu, actually I shouldn't do this, I should, do sudo pacman s y y u so just there are no mirror errors okay so now this is what's going to happen you see these two packages that i'm ignoring because i use downgrade i use something called downgrade which is a package that endeavor os provides and it is arch linux so i downgraded these two packages because the power management tool which uh KDE has, this wasn't working. It was causing a restart loop. And the restart loop was basically power devil. This was restarting again and again. So if I update this to the latest versions, which you see over here, these two, if I update these two packages, the power management tool will break and I'll have to kill the power management, um, the power management service which would basically, well, I don't like it. I, I don't feel comfortable not having a power management uh, service running on my computer. So this could be fixed, but how do I fix shortcut now that it's broken? Well, first of all, the flat pack is the recommended way to install shortcut, but I can also do yay shortcut and my distribution provides this. So you can see that I've got shortcut install this like that and once i install this this will not crash because this is distributed by the by the uh by, by the by the distribution the problem though is that this is not a recommended way of installing shortcut but this will work for now so what I'm trying to say is, is that if you're using Arch Linux, things like these happen. And it's just the nature of rolling releases. I have wasted one day in just, you know, making up my mind to switch back to Linux Mint due to this. And I even posted on the Endeavor OS forums about some of these problems. And if I go to Endeavor OS forums, you'll see that I've posted posted this on the Endeavor OS forums. Here we go. And over here you'll see, uh, where is my, yeah, there it is. So I actually got an update over here. Okay, so this is a reply. This is basically the, this is basically the, um, this one that you see over here. This is my post on 
on the Endeavor OS forums. Most of them are telling me to switch to an open, uh, like a, like a window manager or XFC or some other more stable environment. What I'm trying to say is, is that when you have Arch Linux, this is an example of how things can break. The reason why I was using Flatpak was because previously, if you take a look at a previous video of mine, which uh, you might, might find on my, on my channel, uh, I covered shortcut breaking. There was a white bar. Where, uh, let me show you, show shortcut to you again. There was a white bar over here, like this black thing that you see over here. This was completely white when Plasma received an update. KDE, the operating system, the desktop environment that I'm using, received an update, which probably broke something, a dependency that shortcut needed because this is also a Qt application. I believe it is, I'm not sure, but it broke because of a Qt, a Qt and Plasma update. This is how Arch Linux breaks. And you can see that the latest response that I have is from here. So this is it. KDE works okay here, so hard to tell what the problem is. Some logs might reveal the reason, for example, latest journal, you can see was logged to find that. Anyway, if you think of changing to XFC here, some things, some things to consider. Make sure you have successfully backed up your most important personal data to an external disk. Program EOS package issue list to the backs of each DE. These lists can be used to for removing the old DE and adding the new. If you change the DE like this, you must carefully check each package you remove or add. And there can be conflicting packages which might not be shown on the list. For example, window managers that must be taken care of. So it's probably faster to simply reinstall after backing up your data. Well, I have been contemplating this. I've actually been thinking about reinstalling um, reinstalling Endeavor OS. But then I was thinking that if I'm moving to XFC, isn't it better that I just move back to Linux Mint? Actually, I'm going to, in fact, and I'll do it in front of you. I will basically be making an XFC version. I'll be installing the XFC version most likely um, after testing it because I believe that the, the system that you have in... That that the that that cinnamon does not have fractional scaling, and I think XFC has it. In cinnamon, I believe it's still a experimental thing. So that's the reason why I'm actually contemplating this. So I'm going to test XFC right now. I'm going to see whether it works or not. Uh, I will. I need fractional scaling. I need that. So I'm flashing this. But what I'm trying to say is, is that these are the things that happen in Arch Linux. It's just the nature of Arch Linux. You have to continue tinkering. But the problem is that due to this, my clients suffer. I suffer, but my clients suffer too, as I can't work if I have things breaking. I'm not, a, I'm not really a, a video editor, but if a power management tool breaks, I'm a little bit concerned because Arch Linux is actually my backup system. Windows 10 is primarily what I use for game development, but if Windows break and at the same time Arch has broken, I'm, I'm like gone, okay? I, I will not have anything to really hold on to, let's say. So yeah, so that's really my Arch Linux breakage story number one. Uh, and um, it's that I will probably be looking at Linux Mint XFC right now. I I know about Cinnamon, but Cinnamon also has input lag, which is something I don't really like. It has input lag, by the way. Just know that it has input lag, okay? it's I'm not joking. It does have input lag. So I'm just checking if the XFC has fractional scaling out of the box. If it does, then I'm going to most likely switch to Linux Mint XFC, not Cinnamon. Although Cinnamon is is more powerful, but I'm not very I'm not sure about their about their uh, fractional scaling. There's another issue too that if I completely erase the disk, which I might, then my Windows EFI, which I have uh, the EFI system that I have, uh, it's actually I've actually made a backup of it. The EFI. Uh, the boot uh, the bootloader for windows i'm basically going to I've, I've basically saved it so i can erase the disk and i'll be okay i'll just put the efi 
thing back and it's going to be fine. But yeah, so that's uh, how things happen on, on systems like these where you basically want to work, but uh, Arsenic is just the philosophy of that. That's really my breakage story.